Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of attributes of a coordinate plane. This is standard 5.8a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 34 off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a coordinate grid here, and they just want us to describe and name one thing. So let's get our graph draw feature here, increase the transparency so we can see behind it, and let's see what they're asking us to describe here. Nice thing is you could still kind of scroll off to the side. So which term best describes the point where the horizontal axis intersects the vertical axis. Okay, so let's make sure that we've got this labeled here. So the horizontal axis, and I will do this in blue here, is this right here, okay? It is also called the x-axis. So the x-axis is horizontal, it goes side to side. And the vertical axis is right here. And it's kind of off the screen, but I don't want to scroll up. It's right up there. It's that Y. So it's that Y axis. So when they intersect, that means they cross, right? So where do they cross? Where do these two touch? Well, as you can see, they only touch in one spot right here. And I'll draw that in black. It's right here. And you see it just has the number zero, but that number zero goes for both axes right here, the X and the Y axes. So if you were to label this spot, you would label it zero, zero, okay? So is it called quadrant, X coordinate, Y coordinate, or origin? All right, well, you actually probably haven't heard that term quadrant, but let me show you real quick a little sneak peek of what you are going to get in sixth grade. This whole thing right here is a quadrant, this whole grid, because you are only looking at things in quadrant one. As you get a little bit older, they're actually going to extend your y-axis down a little bit. So it's got negative numbers, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. They're also going to extend your x out here and it's going to have negatives so your x and y can both be either negative or positive and they name each of these quadrants so what you have been dealing with is all positive positive x positive y that's quadrant one in sixth grade you learn when you have a positive y but a negative x that's quadrant two when you've got both negatives negative y and negative x that's quadrant three quadrant four over here these Roman numerals is when you have positive x but negative y. So it's not quadrant because we're dealing, remember, with that point right there. So what are x coordinates and y coordinates? Well, if I were to plot a point, so let's say I wanted to plot the point 3 comma 5, right? We would go over the x3, we would go up to the y5, and it would kind of sit right there, 3, 5. Well, the x coordinate is that first number in the ordered pair. That tells you where to move on the x-axis, which means the five is the second number in the ordered pair. So it's not that. So that point of intersection is not an x-coordinate or a y-coordinate. Now, if I were to show zero, zero, maybe. So what does that leave? It leaves the actual answer, all right? So the origin, is where the two intersect. The origin is always going to have, no matter how many of these you draw, it's always going to have that same coordinate of 0, 0. It's where the two intersect. It's always easy to think of the origin as an origin story, means the beginning or the start. And when you start graphing, you start at the origin, at the 0, 0. And you move over to the x, you move up on the y. So that is your answer, D.